Hey, what's good? I'm professional shooting coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today I'm going to teach you how to instantly fix your flat shot. Now, shooting arc is one of the most important things on your jump shot because if you have a flat trajectory or a flat shot, you're mathematically going to make less shots most of the time. So today what I wanted to do is give you a few tips and tricks to help you instantly increase your shooting arc. That way your light's out each and every time you step on the court. But before we jump into it, this video is brought to you by my guys over at Max One and the Smart Coach AI Shooting App. Max One is absolutely changing the game with their Smart Coach AI Shooting App. This is an app that's actually going to watch you shoot, analyze your jumper, and give you perfectly personalized feedback. Now this is really the future of personalized shooting instruction and one of the reasons why I decided to partner with Max One on this project. So now instead of helping just one athlete at a time, I can help thousands and thousands of athletes all over the world using artificial intelligence and the latest cutting edge technology. And when I say this technology is insane, I mean it's insane. I've been playing around with it for the last couple weeks and I'm absolutely in love. So click the top link in the description down below or the first pinned comment to save your spot inside the wait list when we launch here very shortly. And every single athlete's going to get a free analysis if they do so. And to go one step further and make it better, anybody who signs up for the wait list is gonna get instant access to my Tryout Academy series that I produced with Max One. It's an academy that I put together to help you get ready to slay tryouts. From tips and tricks to ways to impress the coach, it's something that you're not gonna wanna miss because the information is crazy valuable. All right, so go ahead and click the top link in the description down Below or the top pinned comment to join the waiting list for the Max One Smart Coach AI shooting app and get free instant access to my pre tryout academy. Now, when we're thinking about trajectory on our shots, I'm going to drop a little bit of knowledge on you right here. We're going to talk about a little bit of math for a second, so you know, don't click away from the video because it's definitely going to be worth it, right? So, the problem with a flat shot is that it's the ball actually sees a smaller target area, right? So think about it like if the ball had a pair of eyes and it's flying towards the hoop. If you have a very flat shot that doesn't get much arc on it, the ball's gonna see a target area that looks something kind of like this, right? It's gonna be kind of long, it's gonna be kind of oblong, and so pretty much your shot has to hit like the perfect spot to get it to go in. Right? Whereas if I get more arc on the shot and the ball has eyes, as it starts to come down, it's gonna see a target that's more like this, right? Something that's closer to a circle. Now, what a lot of players don't realize is the rim is actually big enough to fit two basketballs through it at the exact same time, right? So the more target area we have for the basketball to go through, the more, you know, kind of margin for air you have to make your shot still. So what you'll notice is most of the time, if players have a flat shot, they have to get the shot absolutely perfect every single time to get it to go through the rim, right? A player who has optimized arc or can get the nice kind of curve on the ball, they can have the ball move left, right, front, back, forward, and they don't have to have it be perfect to have it go in, right? That's why most of the best shooters that you see in the NBA, the guys like Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, James Harden, a lot of these kind of guys have really beautiful arcs on their shot because they're not shooting it flat, they have more margin of error, right? So Steph Curry, he's the best shooter on the planet, and part of it is because he's got more margin of error, right? So that's the very first reason why having, you know, this arc is so important on your jump shot because it basically gives you a cheat code on your jumper. All right, so now let's talk about a few of the ways we can help you instantly get more arc on your jump shot. So the first one that I absolutely love is what we call a feet sweep. Basically meaning that as you're getting ready to shoot, you're gonna jump and let your feet land forward from where they started. So if I'm starting on the three-point line for my shot, as I shoot and release, I'm gonna sweep my feet forward and let them land inside of the arc just like that. Now, I know what you're doing. You're probably at your keyboard or on your phone right now thinking, but Coach Colin, my coach said you gotta land in the exact same spot every time because you gotta be on balance and blah, 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 blah. I hear it all the time, right? But if you watch all the best shooters in the world, about 95% of them all sweep their feet forward and land closer to the basket. So first of all, don't give me any of that. The next thing that you wanna think about is the reason why this works is because it relaxes your shoulders back, right? Think about it like this. If I'm jumping and shooting in the same spot, and let's say I've got a low arc right here, right? I'm landing right here. If I take this exact same arc and I sweep my feet forward, all of a sudden my shoulders are relaxing back and what was a flat shot is now turning into a higher arc shot. Right? The trajectory of the ball is gonna change just slightly to give me more arc. And what's cool about basketball shooting is whatever adjustment you make at your body, it might be a small adjustment, but by the time that reciprocates through the ball and gets to the rim, it might be huge, right? So I might change my arc from here to here, and that might just only be about an inch from my actual release height, 
but from the time that it gets here, it's gonna make for a better arc by the time it gets to the hoop because the ball's gonna keep flying on that trajectory, right? So what's really cool about this trick is, you know, you can have a little feet sweep where you're moving forward just a little bit, you can have a big one, but you're gonna get more arc on your shot. Now, the other piece about the feet sweep that a lot of people don't understand is this isn't a fadeaway. We're not off balance, we're not throwing our shoulders way back. Basically, if we pause the footage, I have a pretty big sweep on my jump shot, and if we pause the footage, you'll notice that when I'm releasing the basketball, I'm still pretty straight up and down in the air, right? I'm not releasing the basketball like this on some sort of fadeaway. I'm still releasing it straight and it's my momentum that pendulums me forward to really pull my shoulders back. So before you freak out, head to the comment section, start talking greasy at me. Remember, you're actually pretty straight on your release and it's not shooting a fadeaway, right? So first key number one, try a feet sweep. I promise you it'll help you get more arc instantly. All right, so the next trick you can try is what I call elbow above eye. Basically meaning that you wanna try to bring your release up to where your shooting elbow finishes above your eye line or higher, right? So if I was to draw a line straight straight out from my eyes like this, I wanna get my elbow to break that line and that's gonna give me more optimized arc. Now, mathematically, a 45 degree angle on your shot is the optimal arc you can have to mathematically make the most shots, right? Now, if you're a little higher, or a little lower, that's okay, you're still gonna be kinda of in that safe zone, but what we wanna make sure is that our elbow, even if it's coming above our eye, doesn't start going too far to like straight up, right? So we don't wanna be straight up and we don't wanna be under our eye level. If we're anywhere kinda of in between that, you're probably gonna be okay and you're gonna be in that safe zone where you're gonna make more shots because of it. So the next key that can help you get better arc and better trajectory is to tilt your feet on your jump shot. Now, what I mean by that is instead of squaring up to the basket like a lot of coaches talk about, where you know all 10 toes are facing the rim, we want to tilt our feet just slightly, and that's actually going to alleviate shoulder tension, which is going to allow us for better arc. So what you'll notice with a lot of young players is they shoot 10 toes to the rim, they get ready to shoot, and as they bring the ball up, their shoulder muscles engage, because if you have 10, feet to, or 10 toes to the rim, most of the time your shoulder muscles are going to stay tight. And as their shoulder muscles stay tight, it doesn't allow them to release high, and so instead they start to release out, and that's where they start getting this low, flat trajectory that's below the eye line. Right? So what I want you to do is do a little test. Stand on the three-point line. You can set the ball down just like this. Go 10 toes to the rim so you're 100% squared up. And then just pretend like you're raising the ball up to your set point. And what you'll feel is right here on your shooting arm, it's almost like you can feel the muscles pulling your arm down as you bring them up, right? And so you can imagine all this shoulder tension. If it's pushing on your shoulders, it's gonna be really hard to finish high above your eye line and it's gonna force you to finish out. Right? So what you can do is you can tilt your feet just slightly. So as I'm at the line, I'm gonna tilt my feet almost like if there's a clock on the ground, I'm gonna tilt mine to about 11 o'clock. And that way it's gonna allow me to get my elbow underneath the basketball, it's gonna allow me to raise it up higher and finish with that higher release, right? So every shooter is gonna be a little bit different. You might have a little tilt, you might have a big tilt, but most of the best shooters in the world shoot with a tilt and it's not gonna negatively affect your shot like a lot of coaches say it will. So give it a try and you're automatically gonna get more arc because of it. So the next key to help you out is what I like to call palm up. Basically meaning you wanna think about your shooting palm as you're raising the ball. You wanna get it to point to the ceiling as you're lifting the ball up from your set point, right? What happens with a lot of younger players is they have their hand position in a funky spot or whatever it is, and as they raise the ball up, their palm never gets underneath the basketball, and because of that, they push the ball out in a flat trajectory rather than an up trajectory, right? If you can get your palm underneath the basketball, you're gonna lift it rather than sling it. So just think about anytime you're getting ready to shoot, pretend like you're driving the ball up to the ceiling and you're trying to get your palm straight up and then snapping forward on the release. If you can do that, you're gonna get a lot more trajectory. You're gonna keep the ball moving in that nice arc rather than that flat trajectory towards the basket. All right, now if you really wanna increase your shooting consistency, don't forget, click the top link in the description down below and get on the wait list for the Max One Smart Coach AI shooting app. Again, this is the next big thing in shooting technology and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click the top link in the description down below and you're gonna get free instant access to my pre tryout academy. Also, if you're new to Shot Mechanics, don't forget to smash that subscribe button because we put out videos every week that are gonna help you get better, I guarantee it. And if you've been around and you wanna make a request, hit a comment in the comment section down below. Let us know what sort of video we should make next and we run pretty much everything off a of request. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.